you come close the door? This door? Thanks, buddy. Oh man, YouTube, oh man, YouTube. It's snowing, it's a little chilly, and yes, the internet is out at our house. I created the live event about uh, two hours ago, and then probably maybe 15 minutes later, the internet went out. Uh, so I tried to do, make it work through my phone, but the data was just not fast enough. Therefore, we had to push it again. This one is not on me. This one is not on me, all right? This is the internet. Who knows? Maybe it's because it's snowing out. I don't know why the internet went out, but we are rescheduling for today. If you're watching this on Thursday, February 7th, noon mountain time, so 2 p.m. East Coast, 11 a.m. West Coast, Central Time, 1, a 1 p.m., and then Europe. Yes, shout out to Europe, and I want to talk about Europe actually in the live stream. And guess what? Guess who just pulled up? <laughs> the internet provider. All right, we're going to fix this. They're sending out all the troops today. <laughs> a van, a truck. Thank you. Thank you. The internet is fixed. Just crazy. Just insanity. But they came in an hour and they fixed it. I'm glad we postponed, rescheduled the live stream for tomorrow. Actually, well, when you're watching this today. Okay, time to go out, run in the snow. May need the ski goggles today. May need the ski goggles today. We'll see. It's, get, it's coming down out there. Going with the speed cross fours today with the screws in the bottom. Last time it snowed, I opted not to take these out and I regretted it. It was, it, there was basically hidden ice under the snow. And so anyway, the, today is definitely gonna be a speed cross four day. It's not really snowing that hard, but I have had these snow goggles in my running bag for maybe 18 months. And I'm like, we gotta use them. We gotta use them at least once this year. So hopefully the snow actually picks up a little bit so I can actually, you know, I can validate that, okay, I should keep, I should hold on to these. And there you have it, there you have it. 13 miles, let's see, uh, 21 kilometers. Oh man, it's cold, but it's not snowing that hard. I definitely didn't need the goggles per se, but it was fun to use them. Okay, two strides now, and then here in the park. So this is a park near my house. Uh, I'm gonna start doing the plyometrics, and this is just the beginning of the discussion on, I should probably take these off. This is just the beginning of the, of the discussion for plyometrics today and basically because the internet went out I lost like an hour and a half of my day two hours almost two hours really and so it's you know kind of threw the whole day off that's okay we will continue and go into more detail about different plyometric uh, exercises and uh, form drill I won't I don't want to say drills but I'm just gonna say form drills for now uh, with all of you okay it's freezing I gotta keep moving All right, there you have it. There you have it. It's for, I can't feel my fingers. We gotta get back to the studio, uh, talk about this, what I just did. And listen, this is just very introductory discussion about plyometrics. This is not all the details about the different exercises you can do. Okay, 
Come on, oh, it's freezing. What are plyometrics and what do what do they accomplish? What do the movements accomplish? Recruit, so this is, okay, and again, this is not a, this is not gonna be a detailed video about how to do plyometrics, even though you're gonna see me on the screen, like right now, you're gonna see me doing some. I will make more videos very soon about like specific uh, technique for plyometrics and how to actually do them and why to do them and how they will benefit your running and your running form. Rather, I wanna talk more about my experience with plyometrics and uh, begin the discussion, yes, down in the comments around the topic of plyometrics. Uh, okay, and so what do plyometric movements actually accomplish? There's, I would say there's actually a lot of different ways that plyometric movements can improve your running. Uh, a couple, recruiting fast twitch muscle fibers. So we're all, through our genetics, we're all given different, uh, f different types of muscles in our body. Usain Bolt, had, I would guess, <laughs> has a lot of fast twitch muscle fibers. I would guess that uh, very accomplished uh, ultra runners and marathon runners lean more toward the slow twitch muscle fibers. Although I would say like the world record holders in the marathon, they at this point in the running history of the world that they also have fast twitch muscle fibers. Like they're going so fast for so long, like there's no way that they can hold that type of pace, like 442 pace for Kipchoge. Like that's crazy. Like that's really fast. That's really fast. So I would bet. And yes, he has, as you many of you know, he's got, he's very accomplished on the track at the 10K and 5K distance as well. So, um, so anyway, plyometric movements can improve and recruit your fast twitch muscle fibers. In addition, strengthening your tendons and your joints. So as runners, we tend to do the same straightforward movements over and over and over again. And that's why runners get so many overuse injuries. And that would actually probably be my third point is that what can plyometric movements do for your overall running and training is that injury prevention. So because we do, like we're not soccer players, we're not basketball players, we're definitely not hockey players like those guys. They're cutting, they're moving, they're jumping up and down. They're doing, they're firing different muscle groups throughout their entire body. Whereas distance runners, we are going forward for hours and hours and hours on end every single week. And therefore we get overuse injuries in our body. Like, oh, like, like runner's knee or plantar fasciitis or uh, stress fractures, you know, as far as uh, the bones are concerned. When we begin to add plyometric movements to our overall training plan, what we are doing is firing different muscles and tendons and usage of different joints, especially all over our body, but especially below the waist that we would not typically use in long distance running because as runners we just love going straight forward so that's a really really important point is that we can prevent injuries through these plyometric movements and lastly the plyometric movements that i will talk more about in future videos you're seeing a couple on your screen right now but it, explosion especially if you're in high school or college like the the 800 definitely the 800 the mile all the way up to 10k I would even say the half marathon to a certain extent and the marathon to a certain extent, but anything under the 10K, like that explosion, because guess what? If you're really trying to race that type of distance, you gotta be fast, you gotta be aerobically fit, but your body, like your legs need to be tuned up to their, to their highest ability. Uh, because if you're gonna stick with people and if you're gonna push off and explode forward down that track or over that cross country course, like, or down the road, like where, whatever dis, whatever surface you're racing on, um, that, that push off power. And we're not going to talk too much about this, but that push off power from like right through your midfoot. If you're a heel striker, uh, even if you're a heel striker, but especially like midfoot to uh, forefoot and then that toe off and then explosion forward, uh, the suppleness and the torque that you're putting on your Achilles and yes, through the fascia on the bottom of your foot. Like it's all that, it's, it's a chain. It's a chain from your toes all the way up your body, all the way up to your lower back. Like it's just a chain reaction. Um, 
And so these plyometric movements are helping explode these muscles and improve their overall, yes, you know how I love this word, the overall suppleness of your muscles and tendons. And listen, I would love to do more testing at some point with a power meter or getting into a exercise physiology lab to really test uh, like what is my overall power through my stride. Uh, so anyway, those are some reasons why you should consider adding plyometrics to your overall training plan, okay? And so the combination of this stretching and contracting helps whip your muscles into shape. That I, There's no other way to say it. Like, it just helps whip your muscles into shape. In conclusion, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of plyometrics. Look at it this way. If you are running 70 miles a week with 5,000 feet of vertical gain and you're doing 20 strides every single week and I'm running 70 miles a week and doing 5,000 feet of vertical gain and doing 20 strides every week, that means we're even. What sets us apart? What sets us apart? Well, a little bit of it, a little bit of it is genetics, of course, but is it, it can plyometrics set you apart from your competition? That is the question. If your competition is not doing these exercises, do you have a leg up on them? That's my last thought. Okay, keyword, plyometrics. Can you spell it? Can you spell it, YouTube family? And the question of the day, have you ever done plyometric movements in your overall training? If you have, what was your experience? How did your body react to these movements? If you have not, are you interested? Are you interested in learning more? And if you're not, that's okay. If you're just, trust me, I get it, I get it, I get it. We're all busy. First of all, it does take more time. And uh, guess what? It's it's kind of hard on the body. Like it takes time to develop the muscle fibers, even the bone density uh, to a certain extent. We'll talk more about that at some point. Uh, so that is the question of the day. Thank you for being here. Guess what? I'm off to Elton John. And yes, if you're watching this on Thursday, February 7th, the live stream is at noon today, mountain time. We're going to talk about Europe. We're going to talk about mountain lions. And yes, we will open it up to a live Q&A. You're the best. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Oh, you got this. Plyometrics, you got this. Can you spell it, YouTube? See, beauty, work hard. Love each other.